Hey guys, here Mark DeGay. In this video, I want to share with you guys on how to connect your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controller to your MacBook or any Mac computer that you have. Just in case you didn't know, you can do this and it's very, very easily. Um, the first thing you want to do is turn on the Bluetooth on your computer uh, right here. Press right here, turn on. Um, if you don't have the Bluetooth icon right there, you're going to have to go to um, preference, system preference, and go to your Bluetooth section right here and turn it on right there. Like you see there, turn it on. Uh, once you do that, uh, go here and open the Bluetooth preference. Uh, when you open that, you're going to see this same window. This is where you're going to see all your devices. So make sure it is on. It is on. And here on your PlayStation 4 controller, you're going to press the share button and the PlayStation button at the same time until the flash the light here starts flashing there you go when it starts flashing that means that it's in pairing mode or discovery mode and right here you see it right away right away up here over here press the pair button right there and like you see there it says connected and that's it it's connected right away look how fast that was uh, one thing to keep in mind if this is linked to your to your PlayStation 4 make sure you turn off the PlayStation 4 that way it won't accidentally trigger the PlayStation 4 and turn it on uh, and that's it once you do that once it connects here to the to the computer once you turn it on and off it's not gonna affect the PlayStation 4 because this is linked to the place to the MacBook um, if you want over here, if you press the X, if you want to remove this com this controller from your computer, you could go ahead and press right there, and it's gonna unpair it from your computer, and that's it. So once you're done here, we can let's go ahead. We can close that. I uh, like see over here in the top. You can see there's an icon. the The Bluetooth icon looks a little bit different. Uh, you can now use this with Steam if you want, or you can also use it with games downloaded from the Apple Store. Uh, I did try with a couple games downloaded from the Apple Store and it does work. Like you see here, it does work right here. This is with Steam and it works very easily here with uh, this is big picture mode. Look at that. And let's go ahead and try, for example, let's go ahead and try launching Borderlands. Let's go ahead and try launching Borderlands so you guys can see the buttons, how good it work. I'll be back when the game launches completely. Okay, so here we are with playing Borderlands 2 connected with the PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, like you see here with this right here, you can, if you press it down, you melee. Uh, if you want to run, you just press down over here. So like you see there, it works perfectly good. If you want to jump with the X to swap weapons, with the triangle, swap the weapon very, very fast. And to reload, you just press the square. Uh, over here as well, you can swap weapon over here too, and you go to the eShop like that very easily, and uh, that's it. Other than that, everything works very very good. Let's go ahead over here and see if we can kill some suckers. Go ahead and break that. Oh crap! You sucker! This is an awesome game. And like I said before, it does work with your games from from the Apple Store. I already did try it, and it does work. It does work. Uh, I did try like a, sport, a sports game. I think I tried the boxing game, which is not that power demanding, but um, it's a free game, and I barely have games from... Oh, crap. Great. No, don't die. There you go. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. So like you see there, works very good, very perfectly. If I'm not mistaken, um, every, every button here should work perfectly good. So you should have no problem whatsoever. Uh, and like I said, once you turn it off, uh, if you keep the controller paired to this computer, uh, if you turn it on again, it's not gonna affect the PlayStation 4. So you will not have to, for example, turn off your PlayStation 4. Uh, this is good if you are like me that have like more than one controller. So that's what I do. I just keep one controller connected to my computer and the other the other controller connected to my PlayStation 4. That way I don't have to be dealing with um, 
uh, unpairing, pairing, unpairing, pairing. That way I don't have to do that. But other than that, guys, that's it. Just wanted to share with you guys how this uh, works, how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your Mac computers. Doesn't matter if it's a MacBook or a Mac desktop. Doesn't matter at all. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. If you do, drop it in the comments and uh, I'll let you know.